Hello everyone! So about four months ago I got this Sundial M1 mountain bike. It costs $200 and it has a lot of pretty good features for the price. If you're wondering what all a beginner bike needs, I have a video linked down below that explains it really well. I think the Sundial M1 checks off all the boxes in that video. Which is why I got it. So how has the bike held up to my use in four months? Well, a few things happened, none of which I think are bad. First, I broke the original chain after I smashed the bike into the ground when I was trying my first jump. All that happened was the chain fell off the front chain ring, but when I tried to get it out of this little hole here, the bike wound up ripping, up, ripping apart my chain because it was so stuck. I just replaced it with a KMC 116 link 10 speed chain, which works perfectly and I don't get chain falls anymore. The Shimano Tourney derailleur also broke after that incident. Because right after that, the chain also pulled the derailleur into my spokes, and since I was still riding at that point, the derailleur got bent up. That derailleur was not meant for mountain biking though anyway, so that's not too bad. The derailleur hanger did bend though with it, so I replaced that with the Hanger 27, which is a lot better quality, and the derailleur with a Shimano RDM 310, which is meant for entry level mountain biking. Since then I've just done a few wheelies, practiced doing jumps, and kept on learning everything a beginner would be learning. And nothing has gone bad with the bike. I just had to do some chain lubing and modifications. However, I'm still yet to bring this bike to an actual mountain bike trail. So if you guys know of any good MTB trails in this area, please let me know. As for the mods I did, I added this chainstay protector, these crank boot protectors, and this really, really well made cheap phone mount, which hasn't dropped my S7 Active no matter how much force I put into a drop. That is, a drop from a wheelie. I plan on modding this bike a lot more, and I'll definitely come out with a new video once I get those things in. For now, I still stay where I was before, that I think this is an awesome bike for a beginner and the $200 price. Plus, it also has a nice upgrade path due to, due to the bike being actually good quality. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful.